Ohio goes on Moss. Happy New Year. It's a brisk 27 degree morning. And I thought I'd show you what my morning routine was before a run. Always get lots of water into your body first thing when you wake up, whether you run or not. So here you go, ice cold water. Some kind of fruit. I prefer a banana, but I'll eat a pear. And then, of course, a black coffee. Uh, typically, I just have it straight up, but today I did put a little bit of honey. Just got done with my run. It was cold. It was super cold. So, I'm frying up some lumpia, and how can we not have hot chili sauce? Like, that's kind of unheard of. Uh, oh, I don't. What's this? Bloody Mary mix. Must have come in a set, because we don't. At least I do not like Bloody Marys. Oh my gosh, we don't have any hot chili sauce. Mm. Is it yummy? It's a lamb. Chef Judy. His dollar. Can you look at the camera so we can see your beautiful oh, his face? His dollar. <laughs> I was just talking to dear Mama Sal on the phone in the garage and smelling something delicious. Yeah. Loompy. Yeah. What's that? How is she? She's doing well. She. I was just talking to her about her channel and stuff. Yeah. If you guys don't know, Dear Mama Sal, we have a lot of history together, literally like over a decade. She is one of my mentors when it comes to speaking. One of the, if not the greatest speaker I personally know. And she's just amazing, but she's really good about giving people advice. In fact, Judy and I both go to her for advice for crazy stuff, right? Even before our own parents. Oh, <gasps> someone's oh. here! Dear Mama Sal, go check her out. Back to what I was saying, lumpia. Imagine a chip with meat on it. That's basically what it is. It's deep fried, it's so good. And we eat it with like a soy sauce base. You love this? I know you love it. Try not to eat it all. Yeah, the thing about these, you could eat them forever. Honey, look who's here. Oh, should we? Should we? No. You know, I would have loved to surprise you with these, but the reason these are significant, Dear Mom Saul told me they, she wanted these years ago. Said if you ever go to uh, Philippines, please get them for me. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad got these for you while they're in the Philippines. So, not here. She, they smuggled them to the United States. She missed you. Hi, mommy. What is it? Dora. <gasps> Dora. Dora. Ati Chin also. Ati Chin send that to you guys. From Ati Chin. But open it, baby. Yeah. Baby. I think that's for the twins. Yay. Yeah. More presents. Thank you. Uh, you know what? I didn't open it, JB. Oh, she had so much gift. Oh, don't know. Okay. That's from Tita Jet. Okay. And I know this is from KN as well. <laughs> Oh, you have books. Uh, it's warm in here. Books. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Very full. Oh, 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 frozen. Open it, open it. It's a good thing. Frozen. There. 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 Mom, what time are you guys leaving for the airport? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> wow. Look at that frozen thing. Oh, my gosh. How fun. Oh. Oh, oh boy! Oh, Is that Elsa's house? Yeah, Elsa. Elsa. Hi, Juliana. Where is Juliana? Ah! <laughs> Say thank you, Auntie Kian. What do you say, JB? Thank you. Thank you. Whoa! You absolutely love it, JB. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nami, nami. I think it looks pretty close to the picture. The only thing I added is just a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. Isn't this crazy that this is two servings? I think this is a lot for two people, but it's 600 calories per serving. Uh, do you have enough pear over there? <laughs> Not too salty at all. Please, mommy, some pear. Pear? Like kale. Yeah. yeah, okay, you could have some pear. I know, the kale's yummy. I've never incorporated kale in my meals. 
How do you like it, Mom? I did good. Thank you so much, Can, for this tent. All the girls love it. Come here, come on, come on. If mommy gets in here, will you come in there? Okay, we're coming Auntie in Mama too. Has to get out. No, 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 you're staying in there. <laughs> we're all gonna party in the tent. Excuse me, Jamie. One more. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. it's okay. You can come. Come on. Don't be a loner. <laughs> Join the party. Go. We got yeah. some cool stuff in here. Oh my gosh, I'm like running out of breath. Oh no. Okay, getting a little claustrophobic. I gotta get out. Oh, Fresh air. Come on. No, I'll go inside the tent later. Oh, my Mommy love. got hot. Although it's a pretty big tent. It is huge. Yeah. Hi. Hi. You're swimming? Okay, let me see. Let's see if it's good swimming. Whoa! She's always wanting to help. She always wants to wipe the table. Oh, you want the other broom. Peace, Arch, baby. I'm in Canada. Yes, I'm in Canada. I was so excited about that gift for dear Mama Sal that I thought I'd drive all the way to Canada today and give it to her right now. So I just know she's gonna be floored. And we were talking this morning on the phone, so I thought it'd be nice to visit her. Uh, even though she lives in Canada and is quite the drive, it's close enough where I can make it there in a day and still come back home. It's a beautiful day. I, I did enjoy the drive up here. I wore sunglasses, which is the first time I've worn sunglasses since Hawaii, I believe. And now I'm just crossing the border, which is not that bad. It's actually got, it's like 10 minute, 10 minute wait or something like that. Time to put our ornaments away. And I'm trying to find where the, where we put the container for the ornaments. Oh my gosh, I have to go pee. Yep, that's me over there in the picture frame. I gave her that picture for her 60th birthday, I believe. So I just got here to the, her house and her friend let me in. And I walked up the stairs and Sal didn't even know or even expect me, obviously. She just talked to me this morning and I was just saying to her, I was like, man, I wish you didn't live so far away. Got her a gift. This is pajama day for her. <laughs> Uh, you guys know her, but if you're a new subscriber, this is Dear Mama Sal. Without makeup. Yeah, you look beautiful, oh, by yeah. the way. Okay, I got a gift for you that was delivered to me this morning. I don't want to tell you what it is. I want you to look at it. I, I think you're going to be surprised, but why don't you go ahead and take a look at what it is. What do you think it is? It's heavy. It's heavy. Let's just say this. It's such a unique gift because you're the only person I know that wants this. Do you remember you told me about it like probably like three okay. years ago uh, now? Yeah, I want to tell you something. This is amazing. Do you um, want to stay on camera or you want me to turn it off? Yeah, no, it's okay. 25 years ago, I went to the Philippines mm -hmm. and I got myself these incredible placemats and um, some beautiful napkins. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've got to be the only person today that still uses real napkins. Yeah, yeah. And my beautiful placemats yeah. 25 years later have been breaking down. So yeah. I said to Benji, if you're ever in the Philippines, please do me a favor. It had to be almost three years ago now. Yeah, please do me a favor and see if you can find these for me. I can't take all the credit. I told Judy, Judy told her mom, and she picked them up for you on my behalf. But I, don't, I really don't know how to thank you because yeah. 
they're not I mean, I didn't think in my lifetime I'd ever get another set. And they're so unique. It's a hard table map. See, Mom, look at that. She has the old school ones. Okay. They look very similar, though. Very similar, just slightly. But you see, they're cracked. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I hope you like them. Oh, I better than like them. Thank Judy's mom, though. She well, was ultimately the one that really delivered it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> well, you've probably just seen how pleased I am. Yeah. It's just wonderful. I love the shells. Why is it so cold? I started getting chills. The fan is on, but it's not like high enough for it to be really cold. Is the window open? It's kind of creepy. Just me and the girls in the house right now. My parents just left, well, like 15 minutes ago. Does that ever happen to you guys? Please tell me. It's nothing to worry about. It says it's 70 inside the house. Let me just make sure all the doors are locked. Maybe the garage is open. Oh. Okay, maybe it's just all in my head. I'm really going to be sad when we take down our tree. We're going to take it down on the third because that's when the tree pickup is. Anyway, Benji is still at dear mama Sal's and I'm glad he's spending time with her during the holidays. We just did a video, that's why she's not in her pajamas anymore. <laughs> we love to talk, but we have similar interests, so it's easy for us to do videos. Dear Mama Cell, that's her YouTube channel. I was gonna ask you just an, a quick fire question. Is that cool? Cool. If you had a minute to give advice to young people that were watching this about how to know what their calling in life is, what would your answer be? I would say don't go looking for it, it'll find you. Don't go looking for it, but in the meantime, what should you do then? Anything that interests you. Mm, good point. Yep. Right? Yep. Because I never ever dreamt about being a professional speaker. That wasn't yep. what I want. You know, yep. I had no idea. Yep. I was a secretary. Yep. And then I got promoted and got into business. Mm -hmm. And the next thing is somebody asked me to speak and I did. I didn't know any better. And yeah. I went, they pay you for this? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's actually a good answer. I would not have thought of it that way. Like, just don't do it. It'll come to you. Right. But it's absolutely true because you also, you'll go to it naturally as well. Advice from Dear Mom Sal. Go check her out. We'll put the link below. And will you put that video up by tonight? Absolutely. All right. It's going to be there. We just did an advice video. Is she crying? Yeah. Hi, Mia. Come on, stand up, baby. How was your nap? Alright guys, you know I come from a pretty superstitious family. We're all wearing polka dots, I don't know if you could tell, so I kept the girls in their pajamas. This is polka dot. It's supposed to represent, I believe it's prosperity, huh? So we have a prosperous year. I'm sorry. It's just so difficult for me to hold you both at the same time. You guys playing footsies? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Juliana's giving silly face to her baby sisters. Joe, show silly face to Kira. Kira's been in a grumpy mood since since she woke up. Oh, what the dealio? No, no. Okay, go show me a silly face. Look. Are you guys looking? <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> Isn't that funny? I don't know, she seems unamused. How about you? Miss Grumpy Pants? Aww. Oh my gosh, I'm having such a hard time with Kira. She has been acting up so much today. I really have a feeling it's just her teeth because her teeth are coming out. JB, stop copying Kira. I know you're just copying her. First time in my life I am cooking collard greens. I mean, I've seen it in the movies. <laughs> it said to cut the stem and then chop the leaves. Actually, I don't even think I've eaten southern food before, so this is gonna be really fun. And I'm gonna stir in the grits. Whoa. Go ahead, you can take it off. You're okay, JB. Oh, my goodness. You're okay. It's okay. Put it down. Put your pants down. Thank you. Wow. So I'm cooking, listening to Pandora, and I just put it on, like, today's hits. 
And now comes this song where it's like, I don't give an F word, and he like says it 10 times in two seconds. So definitely thumbs down that song. The grits are cooking. They're starting to look like corn. Is it corn? Is it made out of corn? Or is it kind of a, is it green? It smells really different. I don't know if I like it or not. You need to go, PB? Let's go. No, no. Oh. Are you sure? I come home to cook meal number two. Yeah, what are you cooking? Let's see what she's cooking. Southern beef and collard green stew. Oh, yeah. I'm starving, honey. That smells good. I was like craving whatever you cooked earlier. I was so surprised. Oh, she was definitely surprised. She was very, very happy and appreciative. And I vlogged every moment of it. Yeah, what is it? Oh, Cinderella? I think Ariel's dress, right? There you go. Mm -hmm. So cute. Juliana's cooking just like mommy is. She's like, cooking, cooking. Huh? Apron? Oh, well, you can't cook without your apron. It's in the fridge. These too. Here, let's put yours on though, because you know what? You're just so darn cute with it on. The reason we wear an apron is so we stay nice and clean. Apron, yeah, pretty. It's a pretty apron. Now you'll stay nice and clean. There you go. Honey, she's ready to cook. Uh, yes, I have. Grits? Uh, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's different. Good job here. I'll do it for you. Sure? All right, yeah, let's share. Come on, girls. Come wow, on. go inside. Hi. Hey, Mia, Mia, come here. Come on. I love it whenever TV's having fun and she goes, yay, fun. Come on, Mia. Mia was really hesitant earlier today. Come on. <laughs> What's good? What's happening here? Come on, Mia. Climb right over your sister. Come on. Say, come here, sister. Say, come here. <laughs> She's like, all right. I get. Whoa. What's happening? <laughs> okay. It's getting kind of chaotic. Oh, but Mia wants to join. Come on. Come on. Mia's scared. It's okay. You're okay, Mia. I think dinner's ready. All right. It looks pretty darn close. So the food was actually delicious. I underestimated it. I didn't really like the smell of the grits, but it ended up being really good. The dish together was just delicious. I didn't end up recording our reaction to the food because Benji and I were just kind of like, we were just really uptight and I was a little stressed. And then, you know, Benji, he's always like, he's that kind of person that he wants to resolve things right away. <coughs> and he's like, honey, is everything okay? Is everything okay? And I'm like, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just irritated because Kira and JB were just acting up. And it's like he wanted, he wants to see if there is something more. And he's like, anyways, I was just irritated. And then he got irritated and it was just like, ugh. Anyways, <laughs> all the girls are asleep now and I have my glass of wine. So I'm just kind of unwinding and I'm going to take a nice hot shower and I'm just gonna relax, but he was able to uh, finish editing the rest of the vlog, so I'm very grateful for that. Yesterday I said I would try to sleep at uh, before 2 in the morning, but I ended up sleeping again at 2. Um, but this time it's what time? 11.02. I want to get to bed by 12, and then tomorrow I'm gonna go back to hot yoga so I could kind of get myself back into... <laughs> I guess getting my me time and feeling a little better physically. So anyways, happy new year and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Cheers. What's up YouTube? So I'm editing the night and I'm taking over for Judy. So I'm going to upload to YouTube and I want to do comment of the day or as we like to say it, it's viewer time. Like this comment is from Tamara Ricard. She says, Happy New Year. I wish you guys a very great 2015. I can't believe I have been watching you guys since. Wow, I don't even know. It was before Juliana's birth. That's all I remember. Love you guys so much. You're my inspiration. Well, Tamara, thank you so much for watching us for so long. And uh, it's flattering that you would say we're your inspiration. You know, we're just living our lives. So if that uh, inspires you, that's awesome. There you go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.
Juliana, say bye bye. Clean under the table.